Hi guys, let's talk about fake stuff and fake listings that come up on eBay and AliExpress and Narcari and all of the other places that you can get used or new equipment that turns out to be false. Let's get started. What's up guys? Alright, so I've been digging around and trying to find some used video cards in order for me to put into systems that come to me for re refurbs and also so that I can turn around and uh, record in better definition audio and better definition video for my YouTube channel and uh, both cases turn out to be complete and utter garbage. Alright, so first up I went online and I looked around and I got an NVIDIA GT740 2GB card I found it on eBay and I was like okay I'm gonna do this it's 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 40 bucks let's get it done because a new one of these off of like Amazon or something is uh, I don't know a hundred and this is this is a card from 2013 I'm not gonna mess around but if you listen closely Loose! Loose! It doesn't sound like there's anything in there, so let's see what it is. We're going to open it up. Okay. No. No, uh... Oh, wow! Did you look at that? A GT610. So... The only thing that they got right on the listing is the word NVIDIA and GT. And it's a uh, 130, 130 off of the, off of this box. This this is what you get. This is what you get. You get absolute trash, trash, trash. I can't it, it, all the time and especially now during this market with new cards retailing three four hundred dollars over what they should normally retail at MSRP for I mean you've got Outlet PC Tiger Direct you've got New Egg you've got Amazon Walmart you got all of these places that you think are reputable and they are charging scalper prices for RX 570s and RX 580s and uh, RX 5500s uh, and uh, what else have we got? We'll go on the other side. We'll go from Team Red to Team Green. We'll go to the uh, G GT uh, 10, 1050s that you can buy new. Uh, 1060s, 1660s, 1660s Super, uh, 2060s. All of these cards that the, the people want, they're all overly priced. And then when you go on to the little pirate bay cove of eBay and AliExpress, and not only do you have to look at the pictures to make sure that the actual card that they're proclaiming to be like a 1050 Ti is actually a 1050 Ti, <clears throat> or you get these. Oh. Shit! Absolute garbage. Trash. Like this, this is a waste. This is a waste of money. What the hell am I going to use this for? Minesweeper? Like, yeah, this will run Word spreadsheets. Barely. And this, this is what you get. All right. Not only that, but I'm also going to talk about a card that I recently purchased for seventy dollars off of eBay. It was really cool, and it's a card that I have wanted for a very long time. The specific card that I wanted for a very long time. Now, these cards right now are going for about four hundred and ninety dollars to upwards of like seven hundred on eBay, Amazon. I won't even touch Wish. That place, you're asking for a, 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 a computer-generated venereal disease. Um, it was a it's, it's a, it's it's a Sapphire Radeon R9 290X Tri-X Overclock Edition. A very, very nice car that I've always wanted for one of my retro systems. 
and it's actually sitting in the PC that's above me right now. Uh, when I first got that card, and you have to pay attention to this when you buy cards that are used online, every single one of them has been used and abused. I don't care who you are or what field you're in. I don't care. You can't argue with the fact that most of the cards that are being sold on these sites used or refurbished are in fact not refurbished. I'm going to show some pictures on the screen of what the actual GPU look like while trying to figure out why the heck is this card cruising at 96C under any load besides the desktop and maybe an open edge or Chrome browser. As soon as you used it for anything, the temperature would spike, go straight up. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, I took the card apart, I cracked it open, found out there's no thermal paste on it. There's, there's some on the heat sink that's dried beyond belief, and this was a refurbished card with the listing saying that it had been repasted and that it had also gone through a benchmark, runs optimal tests, had a screenshot on the listing of the temperature of it running in the benchmark. This guy used a completely different card. What else can I say? The card that I received had a bent heat sink. It had uh, the thermal pads that were on, on the VRMs were completely good shot. The thermal clay that was on there in, for, for the power delivery chips were completely deteriorated. And there was no thermal paste making contact with the the GPU die. So I took it apart and I used some thermal paste that I got. It's the uh, TG7 diamond infused paste that I used on there. And I got some new uh, one millimeter and 1.5 millimeter thick thermal pads for the memory chips and the power delivery uh, transistors. And now when I benchmark it on a 100% load on ultra with tessellation to the max anti-aliasing to the max ultra at 1080 because I'm not going to push it beyond that. Now it's cruising at about 79C. So when you get these cards, immediately run a benchmark and test thermals. Bring up hardware monitor and have it running in the background while you do a GPU a benchmark run it in the background make sure that it works and not only that but then you get these little these little cockroaches that are selling these cards and they don't tell you that they're a d-spec card as well you'll find it on the back of any of any video card even this thing you'll find somewhere in here you'll find the part number and then it'll and then it'll, or a serial number and it'll have dash d if it has a dash d it is what i call an internet cafe card it has basically been used in the Philippines, Malaysia, Taiwan, any of those places. And they, since they don't have a wide availability for their population to own a computer for a reasonable price in, in their tax bracket, I guess, and their, how much they make, they don't make that much. So they go to these internet cafes and they play their games on there and the owners of these cafes will overclock the cards and then when they're done with them when they recycle these systems out they put their the parts the gpus ram all of that up on ebay ally express uh, even amazon and um, <clears throat> they'll send you a card and in the description it tells you that you get like an rx 580 of eight gigabyte or a four gigabyte and then it'll be an rx 580d so the clock speed is lower for the memory, the GPU speed is lower, and the bus bandwidth sometimes is actually narrower. So on some cards, not all of them, on some cards you'll have a, a narrower bus, a bus width, you'll have slower GPU and slower memory speeds. Uh, to normal people, that won't really matter too much. For people that are looking to actually use their system for like Cyberpunk's 2077, you're gonna be you're gonna be sad. Uh, it's 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 gonna happen. Um, so whenever you get these cards, whenever you buy ch junk like this, always check. And it, with me as an experienced seller, an experienced buyer, and it still happens to me, uh, if you think you're saving money by buying used GPUs, do yourself a favor 
pick up some TG7 thermal paste, and pick up 1 millimeter, 1.5 millimeter, and 2 millimeter thermal pads. You will need them. You will need them. Even if the card is a couple years old, take it apart, repaste it, and do it. Just do it. Just assume that every card you're going to get is either going to be a bait and switch or it's going to be completely abused and messed up. Do not trust any seller on AliExpress, eBay, Walmart. Don't, just don't, just don't, don't trust them. Don't trust them at all. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoy. Like, subscribe, comment. Oh, and speaking of comments, yeah, I got a microphone for you. I got a microphone right here for you. And no, I won't be using it for that. That's for narration when I do repairs. And uh, changing the names of my videos to best suit your interests, not going to happen. You know why? Because you want it to happen. This is my channel, baby. I do what I want. If you don't like it, go to the next one. I really don't care. So have fun. And until next time, Try not to get scalped. Try not to get baited and switched. Have fun. Play games. Live your life. See you later.